Hey, what is up, y'all? Eric here. I'd like to welcome y'all to a new episode of Red Dead Redemption. So, I hope you enjoy your weekend and all your stuff. So, if you haven't seen my other episodes, the playlist will be in the description. Please check it out. So, uh, yeah. Red Dead, Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2 is already out. So, where's what I'm gonna do? I'm trying to finish this up wherever I can. You know what I mean? I mean, wherever I can. Because I want to get that... Plus, I want to finish up the DLC, and yeah, we'll see what's going on. Like I said, I'm going to do whatever I can to at least beat the game for y'all. Then I can take a look. So, yes, here we are. Without further ado, let's get started. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. Appointment. Appoint time. Hey, 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 stop this with him. Ooh. Poor dude. Uh-oh. Surprised y'all boss didn't do anything. Oh, there he goes. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay. Oh. Let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I Ooh. suggest you let him go. Yeah. You think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wanna risk it? Yeah. <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, Americano. Yeah, yeah, matalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda. Huh? Oh. 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 So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> oh, the duel. Let's do this. Dense nail. Let's do this. Shot in the head. Gotcha. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Yeah. There are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Leave the speeches to me, Jump. To release the prisoners. Alright. Go to the jail. Alright. Vida Mexico. Let's do this. Alright. Like I said, I'm gonna do whatever I can. Dang it. I need to get a gun ready. Dang it. Did it pull out a darn knife? Unanse a la lucha. Juntos podemos derrocar a Allende. Podemos devolver el poder a su a mi lucha. Y'all free! There we go. Now it's free the prisoners. 
Switch my guns. There we go. I like this one. Ammunition. You got anything interesting, friend? That very good. All right, let's do this. Liberanos, amigo. Somos de Alex Abraham Reyes. Back it up. Reyes is getting ready to attack Linde's mansion. Boy, why well, the wait? Sheesh, up in my grill. The nada, amigo. Go, boy, just go. All right. The nada, amigo. All right. Let's go. Meet Rick. Join Rays. Bam. 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 One jumps. Okay. Let's go. Your name is John Marston, gentlemen. I'm afraid you're dead. And we're okay. Someone might as well have this. Go for the machine gun, John. We can use gunpowder to blow the door open. We will set up the barrels. Wait for my signal. Do not shoot until Ray's men's are clear. This one. They move out of the freaking way. See, that's what you get. That is what you get. See that guy bounce or glitch out? <laughs> Go. Go. Let's do this. Come on.
¡Oh, compadres! ¡Aquí vienen más! ¡Están subiendo la cuesta! ¡Defende, Gatechon! ¡No brinques tú! Ah, ok. Ok. Looks like it's Gatling time. Ready? Yeah. Any more? Bullseye, sweetness, and new achievement. Come on, just let me get one more. And here we're done. Always making sure you're clear. Okay. Now, let's get to... There you go. Stuck it to my stagecoach. Go then. I'll cover you. They're getting away. We have to stop them. No kidding. Let's go. Vamos. Start the prisa, cabron. Ah, crap. We cannot let them get away. Give up, Williamson. I already got a squealer. Rise. Let's go. Boy. Okay, there they are. Yeah. I don't know what Abraham is doing, but get yeah, I'm going solo. There we go. Do this. What the hell are you doing? Find my freedom, pendejo. I cut up to some ape and get out of the wagon. Apurate. I'm coming. Don't move, boy. Don't shoot. Here. Take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country. I promise. You always was weak minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane. Dutch wanted. Oh yeah. I kill Bill, he killed me. No problem. Well, that's done with. So my people are free. And it is all thanks to you, Joe. Now I mention it. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave. And she will be missed. Mm-hmm. Who was she again? Uh... Your peasant girl wife-to-be? <laughs> yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh, yes. I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull, it was a mean okay. thing. <laughs> like. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. 
Hey, ¿Qué hacen? Levántense. Oh, no, señor. Well, no, I must say, no. I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Thank you. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, we are here, and uh, let's get on. Bear one another. Bear. Let's go. Talk to the government. 101. 102. 103. 105. 106. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. One fourteen, one fifteen, one sixteen, one seventeen. All right. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those mm. are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. Oh. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. Mm-hmm. Mr. West Dickens. Hello, West Dickens. Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him... Come on, Marsden. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. All right. 
It's like he doesn't know what to do. Ah, the little car thing. Alright, Mr. Fordham, onward! Alright, let's go. I'm just gonna skip this part. So let's go. Alright. We're on our way. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. Cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Yeah. Come on then, Marston. You're with me. All right. Yeah, I'm ahead of you. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. <laughs> Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. No! Shoot! Let's go, Mr. Marston. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Let's see. Okay. I'm coming. Come on, those screams are coming from somewhere. How you on, dude?
There's the stairs. That's the one I've been looking for. <laughs> Hello? Over here! I found him! Good God, that's her informant! Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! Okay. What the hell's happening? Bastard! Come on, we need to get him to safety! What safety? <laughs> Look, there they are! We just want Vanderlyn! You Slow down, man. Try to keep up. Sheesh. Come on. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Okay. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. All right. Let's go. There might be more of them. Let's go. Oh, what happened? Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, uh -huh. fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Uh -oh. men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. Right, let's do this. There we go. I 
I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Let's go. Damn, that was close. If we're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. <laughs> You'll make me blush with all Let's get this part. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. We need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. Alright. Now, let's go on a new mission. Got a tire too. So let's go. Great men are not always wise. Are not always wise. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? Hmm. This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. All right. All right, get to the point on the roof. That door is the only way in and out of the building. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Yep. Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. Got it. The law is gonna keep coming until you're done. Nobody shoots until I say. Don't shoot. That man is a hostage. They shot him dead. They're coming out. Run them down. Take out those snipers in the window. I'm making a break for it. Get them. Got him. people 
enemy can take them. Let's go. Come on, let's get in there. Come on. Let's go. Forgive me, sir. Shoot the lock off that door. Let's go. Watch out for hostages. Dang it. Free to go. Everybody out. Run. Now. Good work. Touch ain't down here. He's got to be hiding up here somewhere. Got it. Dutch? How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? Fifteen? Sixteen? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course. I surrender, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Oh. Used to ride with us. Used to. We all had her. Oh, <laughs> but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh! God damn! Let's get after him! Oh. I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long! Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the best. There's my horse. Get on your horses. I just saw Dutch make a run for it. Where are you going, Dutch? Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. Been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. There's the car. They must abandon it and continue on foot. Yeah, let's go. Head to the forest. All right, move out of the way, cause you're all slow folks. They're done. Come on, come on. Yeah. 
No! Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. Let's go on the next mission. Here we go. Let's go. At home with Dutch. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. With these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing mm -hmm. your uh, Tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir. I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. <laughs> right this minute, no. Oh, so it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. 
They are turning to bad things. The Savage Heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous! <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Alright, so... A scientist, a criminal, and a savage! <laughs> what a strange trinity we make! Hmm. Come, let's hurry. Stay close. Gotcha. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> Anyway, yes, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. Oh my lord, look at the buffaloes. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, buffalo. Yeah, I saw you said that. There's the cliffs. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. All right. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. So much for help. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. Okay. Oh. All right. Come on, let's go. There you go. That's real great. I was supposed to get up there. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Okay. This will work. There's a path through this cave. All right, let's go. Good. This should save us some time. Yeah, no kidding. TNTs. Like, what the heck 
is that? Look at Craig here or something. Dynamite! Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. There we go. There we go. You okay? I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up. We'll see you on the way down. All right. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. All right. Okay, now we're going up the roof. Yeah, that part I believe is has to do with the DLC, which is what we will be playing after this whole game when I beat it. Oh, the bear, get the bear in. Bear, you don't want to miss me. I have to get up there again. Oh, oh! No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Where's that beer at? Ooh! Darn it, bears. Okay, let me skin him. There you go. Let's skin him real quick. Let's make this quick. There we go. We skinned it a lot. We skinned him. Let's go. Let's just also skin another animal. Last still. <laughs> All right. Let's go. attack let's just skin that this one too this is a messy one. there we go there we go Climbing. There we go. There we go. The ball eagle. There we go. And here we are. Let me uh, loot him real quick. 
Get my knife back. Got the binoculars. Do the gate. There's Dutch. Oh! You see, you already knew I was here. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. <laughs> no kidding. And your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vander. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, mm. you are a very stupid <laughs> mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <laughs> All right. Let's go back. 